This is kind of how I clean the pigs. What I got is a big old boar hog right here. And once I get them back to the house real quick, first step I do is pressure wash. The important part. And uh, what you do is, there's a gland right here. You gotta kind of miss that gland. What I do is I come around here and I wring the legs like this. It's important that you do this first. Now this hair will do your, leg, your blade pretty good. You get you a knife like this. This is important. This is a outdoor edge. And what it has on it is a blade like this. Very important. You stick that under there, under that skin right there, and you run it up behind the back leg. Then you run it in the front of the leg, and you follow this all the way up to this other cut. Makes a line all the way. Then you go in the front of this leg, like this, and you go up to the jaw. Right in here by, by the uh, tail, <clears throat> you get, you go up the back, all the way to the ear. Now this boar, he's got a pretty good plate. So what I'm doing is trying to get under that plate. There we go, all the way to the ear. Now what you want to do is you want to strip this thing like a banana. You want to make a strip no wider than six inches all the way around this thing. But you do this on the ground first before you hang it, well, especially with a big one like this. That's going to make it go a lot easier. So you take that knife and you do it six inches apart all the way around the animal. Cut this pig in these strips. I don't know if you can see it. You see that? It's about an inch and a half, three, two inches deep around this pig's, I can stick my hand in there, you see that? That way when I cut it, when I peel it off, I'm not trying to dissect that big plate that that boar hog has, it's just a little strip that I'm pulling down, it makes it a lot easier. And I've already gone ahead and castrated him, clean this area up before I hang him, that way no urine gets on the body. All right, so now you've seen that I've cut the strips down the side, but then I've filleted this around where I can get to these flaps. And a boar hog, way tougher than those sows. What I'll usually do is I'll cut a, like a finger hole in there, and I'll attempt to, to pull it down if I can. And then it'll start to get to that plate. And I'll do the same thing with the tail. Like that. And then kind of loosen it up around here like that like so this will keep you from having to do just go down the whole side of the pig you just do it in little pieces it's kind of pre-cut already I should have cut it a little smaller but you can kind of see, even if I have to run my knife, I'm not doing it all the way around the pig. It just goes a lot easier. Even if I have to use my knife around here so I don't have to pull on it, I'm just barely pulling a piece of it off like this. And you can see as I go down here, how thick the plate is on this bore. I mean, it's unbelievable. And then I can get my knife on the side of it like this and start it. Sometimes the older they are, the tougher their hide is. You really can't pull it like you'd want to, but it still gives you, a lot of people just can't deal with this, this horrible plate that these guys have. I know a lot of people want to make crackling and you know, 
A lot of Cajuns are gonna be mad that I'm taking this off, but let me tell you, this, these wild pigs, they're still good to eat or donate or help out different people. I mean, it's a shame to throw them away. Look at the size of that plate. I don't know if you can see the thickness of the plate. Pretty tough. It's a lot easier to do it this way, easier on your back. Look at that, it almost stands up like it on its own. It does, actually. This is where it gets really, really thick. Look at that, look at this. Can you imagine getting in a fight with this thing? You'd have to be a pit bull, a catch dog. Look at the size of that thing, man. And this will keep going. It'll just go all the way down his neck. If you if you cut him down, it'll go all the way to his head. In little strips, six inches to eight inches wide. And when you get down to the bottom. There you go. Look at, this, look at the thickness on this. That's got to be an inch thick at least. And it's just, look at that. That's a tough stuff right there. <clears throat> There's the exit wound right here on that pig. And that bullet is sitting in this plate right here. Boom, it's a 30 caliber bullet. See if I can get to it. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get in there to get to that bullet. I'm gonna have to cut that bullet out. Look at that.